hello guys welcome to the second part of the db2 basics tutorial and today we are going to talk about the db2 process and uh, when we start db2 and application which process get activated and uh, which process is responsible for what activities so those kind of stuff okay so i will um, in case if you have not gone through my first tutorial on the db2 basics i would highly recommend that you go through that and uh, then come back to this uh, video okay so let's start uh, to, uh, today's uh, tutorial so um, we know that uh, db2 architecture uh, consists of db2 instance and under instance we have database okay and uh, as far as db2 is concerned we can have multiple databases under the same instance I think in Oracle or um, SQL Server, um, I'm not sure like uh, whether we can have multiple databases inside the same data uh, same instance. Okay, so there are processes which are specific to instance, and there are processes which are specific to a database. Okay, so let's go through the um, individual process for an instance and for the database. Okay, and I am going to touch up only on the main process which you should be aware of. Okay, there are many other internal processes uh, processes which I have not even um, even even I don't know like what what it does. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it's per instance the process. So the main processes here would be the DB2 SYSC. Okay, the it, it's it's called the main system controller okay and uh, then we have the db2 tcp cm which is a tcp listener so whenever your external connection try to hit the database it will try to come through this port okay through this particular protocol okay and uh, sometimes what we do is like for administration and uh, other purposes we will directly log into the database server instead of coming through the application we can directly log into the uh, db2 server right so when we connect to the database from the same uh, same server that uh, that those kind of connections will be taken care of by the ipc listener okay so this listeners are local basically for local connections and then we have the process called db2 acd which basically take care of all the health monitoring like some of the we can schedule even even schedule jobs okay so those kind of things are taken care of by the db2 acd okay now db2 wdoc it's called the watchdog process uh, basically it will be there in unix and linux only okay now when we start the instance uh, this process will start first okay and this particular process is responsible to start the db2 sysc tcp acd those kind of processes okay so this process will start the other processes okay now let me come back to this process db2 fmp db2 bk and db2 ck pwd now once we start the db2 watchdog process it will start the db2 sysc okay which is the main system controller process now this process will in turn start db2 check password okay now this process is responsible for authentication okay whenever uh, an application is trying to connect to the database it will authenticate the application okay now by default um, there will be three uh, check password processes which will be running on your on your system okay when you start the instance automatically this process will start now if your applica if your uh, application okay makes very frequent connection like maybe 1000 connections or 2000 connections per second or depending on your transaction rates right you might have to increase this uh, the number of processes for the check password okay so it is possible that you might get an authentication denied message even though your password everything is right okay you might get like authentication issues okay and that that can be verified using the db2 logs okay so depending on your transaction rate or the number of hits you make to the database you might have to increase this uh, process value so by default it is set to 3 now again i told you that uh, whenever we make a local connection it will be uh, you can see the you can see the process as db2 bp okay and it will be using the ipcm process to connect to the uh, database 
again uh, when we have one more process called fence mode process okay so this process will be used for running the stored procedures okay now uh, so so that was the db2 instance processes okay so first we'll start the watchdog watchdog will in turn start db2 syse tcp mipc acd and db2 cc process will again start the check password okay and fmp and db2 uh, it will be started only when there's a requirement okay it's kind of ad hoc okay so initially it will not start so whenever there's a requirement it automatically this process will come into picture okay so these are related to your instance uh, processes now what happen when you start the database okay so when you start the database these are some of the important processes which will start when you start or activate the database okay so first one is a log writer which will write it to the transaction log again we have a log reader process okay log file manager process that uh, will take care of your archiving okay so your transaction logs will get filled up and then it will be archived if you have um, defined uh, a database into archival mode okay i'll come back to that later so you might need to store those logs uh, for future uh, uh, restoration or anything right so for that we need to archive the logs so that will be taken care by the log file manager then you have the prefetcher okay uh, in the in my last tutorial i told about the prefetcher and again we have page cleaner process then we have deadlock detector okay and then we have the self tuning memory manager okay that will take care of the database tuning okay now uh, when we have to list the processor per instance we can use the command called ps hyphen f grep db2 now again it's os command which we can use to check the processes at the instance level okay now how do we check the processes at the database level okay for that we need to use the command db2 pd hyphen edus okay now what does that edus means now edus means engine dispatchable units okay so basically uh, i think uh, prior to 9.1 even the database processes you can uh, list using the ps hyphen f grep command okay but uh, starting 9.1 uh, uh, they have come uh, with the techno threat technology okay and to see the processes at the database and you need to use the db2 pd hyphen edus dispatchable i mean in the engine dispatchable units okay <coughs> now let's come to the per connection so what what do you mean by per connection okay now whenever there is application connection coming from the application server to the database so for every application connection there will be one db2 a db2 agent required okay so if you have 100 connections coming there will be 100 agents okay now depending on the workload now this db2 agent may spawn another sub agent okay there is again totally optional only if the workload demands okay so these are per connection processes okay and again this uh, this uh, per connections you can only see using the db2 pd hyphen edus command and not through the ps hyphen of the os command okay but this is one basic sap system where we have a sap application and uh, we have the database server okay now how do you start the database and the application right so first we need to make sure we start the instance okay so once we start the the db2 instance it, the watchdog process will initiate and it will start automatically the other processes okay like db2 cc process will start the db2 ipc tcp okay now once it is done we have to start the database once the database is up we can start the application okay now once the application started automatically this will start the uh, that uh, db2 will start the db2 agent for the communication between the application and the database server so the first step will be to always start the instance then the database and then the application okay so let me show a quick demo 
on this okay okay so currently I have no DB2 running on this um, box okay ignore this process for the moment okay I'll come to that later okay now so there's nothing running on this system at the moment so what I will do is I will start the instance okay so let me give a clear picture of one second okay now you can see uh, I logged into the instance db2 nst1 okay now I am going to db2 start So you can see so many processes over here, right? Now, if you see the watchdog process, it's the parent process with the process ID of 13750. Okay, it's the parent process. Now, this watchdog process has started the DB2 SYSC. So if you see the, this is the process name and this is the parent process of this. Okay, watchdog. Similarly, if you see here, the db2 check password process it was started by the db2 cc process because the parent process is 13752 okay and i told you that the default will be 3 right okay so the watchdog process has started db2 sysc the db2 sysc has started all these three processes okay and again there is a vendor process which we can see which is uh, which has a parent of watchdog okay now this process again uh, required for your backups okay it's to a third party those kind of stuff okay. and again you have the db2 acd okay again this this is a part of db2 watchdog process okay so these are some of the process which has started when i started the db2 instance now let's um, activate the database let's see if we can see any other process now okay okay so there's no change here right okay. now to check the process at the database end we need to use the command db2pdia hyphen edus okay so as we run it we can see so many processes right which are related to test okay so we have prefetches page cleaners, we have log reader, log writer, dead log detector and we have one idle agent here it is not doing anything at the moment ok so let's let me try to make a connection to the database ok now you see that uh, the db2 agent is li alive right it was idle in the beginning and it is now alive okay. so uh, so now we know like how to check the process at the instance level and how to check the processes at the database level ok these are some of the internal process ok I, I will not worry about those things at the moment ok so as soon I I'm deactivating database now check let's see see all those processes are gone right now I can stop my database the ground okay and you might worry about what is this particular thing like db2 bp over because I made a local connection right so it is using some um, binary files over there so as soon I come out of this connection if you see it will not be there right it's not there so it's gone okay so this is basically how you start the instance how you start the database how you check the processes at the instance level and the database level okay now similarly 
the shutdown process will be the opposite of the startup procedure first you have to shut down the application which will shut down the agents then you deactivate the database and then you stop the instance okay so in today's class what you learn is the instance processes the db2 process the db2 database processes how we start the instance and what is the sequence of starting the application database and instance and how do we shut down the instance okay so in my uh, next class i'll go out of the database configuration configuration instance configuration and setting the profile registry and uh, buffer book configuration table space configuration storage path configuration so those kind of things i'll go in my uh, next class okay thanks for watching